The following slideshow is an outline of the possible subject selections for stage six within the PDHP department. The first subject we'll be looking at is personal development, health and physical education. This is a preliminary and HSC two unit ATAR course. The preliminary and the HSC course are made up of two core topics and two options. Both the options we study at Aquinas are movement based, which means we have one health topic and three movement based topics in both prelim and HSC. This slide gives an indication of what options may be available for students once they complete the PDHP course. Well, what should I look out for if I choose PDHPE? Well, you need to know it's a category A subject. It will take up a lot of your study and homework time, and you need to be aware that there'll be almost no practical involvement in classes. Well, what does the assessment look like? The assessment is essentially research-based and extended response style questions. Being able to structure a response is of critical importance and a high C for English would be a minimal requirement for success in this course. Well, what are some of the realities of the course? It's heavily content based and a lot of content to be learnt. Organised and detailed study notes will be a must in this subject. Well, the second subject we'll be looking at is sport, lifestyle and recreation. This is only offered in preliminary. It's a one unit content endorsed course with no external assessment and it does not contribute to ATAR. Well, why would I choose SLR? You, you really must enjoy sport and know that this doesn't have a lot of academic demands. Throughout the course, you'll develop an understanding of and a competence in a range of sports and recreational pursuits. On this slide, we see a range of opportunities that may present themselves as a result of choosing the SLR course. The most important thing to be aware of is there's a heavy practical participation. And for that reason, you need to bring your prac equipment to every lesson. As far as assessments, they're pretty straightforward and practically based, but there are some theory tasks as well. The next subject we're looking at is sports coaching. It's a preliminary and HSC course, two unit vet course. You must really enjoy sport to want to do this subject. You should also enjoy working with others in teams and have a specific interest or desire to teach and instruct. On this slide, we see some of the opportunities that might present themselves if you choose to do this course. It's a requirement that um, practical equipment be brought to every lesson. It's really important and participation is very important. You'll also do a minimum of 70 hours work placement over the two year course. And the assessment is a VET competency based assessment. The next subject offered in the faculty is called Community and Family Studies, also known as CAFS. This is a two unit ATAR course, does run over the two years. Well, why would I choose to study CAFS? Students who have an interest in psychology, working with children, counselling, or an interest in different groups in society, such as the homeless, aged, or rural and remote families, would undertake this course. On this screen, you can see the course overview. It's important to note that there is four units in the HSC course, three core, and one is an option chosen by the school. Well, why should I be able to do CAFs? And what am I looking for in a future career path? Here's a list of possible careers and avenues that uh, might be 
an interest or an option for you, including psychology. So it's very important to remember in choosing CAFs that it's a very heavy content-based course with a large amount of information required to be learnt. It also undertakes an independent research project, which is a significant amount of time and research by yourself. And we're looking for a minimum of, of uh, sound results in English, such as a high C. As mentioned before, there is an independent research project and the majority of the other assessment tasks are written based and in the HSC, this will end up in a three hour examination. There's not a lot of practical in this course and we're looking at theory marks in your 10 for selection. Some of the realities is there's an extreme amount of contact, a lot of writing, being organized, having detailed study notes and undertaking several hours of study each week will help you understand uh, the requirements for this course. The next course is new to the college in 2018 called Exploring Early Childhood. It's a one unit content indoors course and does not contribute to a HSC examination. If you have an interest in working with children, this is a good course for you, in particular early childhood or primary school teaching. As you can see on the course overview, there are three cores and one module, which will be decided by the teacher. This might range from pregnancy and childbirth all the way through to promoted positive behaviour. As mentioned before, students inter interested in the following career paths would possibly take up this course and provide avenues for future studies beyond school. There is no prerequisite study for this course. However, there is an opportunity to undertake different types of assessments. In particular, there'll be an opportunity to take home a computerized baby where you understand what it entails to look after a newborn child. The assessments vary although the majority are theory based with an element of practical across the year 11 course. Now the final subject we'll be looking at is Marine Studies. This is a new course to the college. It's a preliminary and HSC course and it's a two unit content indoors course. If you've got further questions about this course, uh, Mr. Ritchie would be a good person to talk to. And uh, why would I choose uh, marine studies? Well, you're someone who loves the ocean. You'd like to be an ambassador and custodian of the marine environment. And uh, there may be an opportunity to attend a marine studies camp and uh, discover information about the industry and other pathways within the marine environment. And if you are doing this course, you'd need to be aware of uh, that you would have these sort of skills, you'd be an adventurous person, and you'd want to get fully involved in all the activities that are being offered. You can see in the preliminary, the tasks that are required, and also for the HSC component of the course. Well, thanks for watching this uh, presentation and uh, we look forward to seeing you in some of these subjects next year. Thank you.